What else is going on in God's planning? Those are the big things, I think. Yeah. Are yeah. you enjoying doing the podcast? Or? Yeah. 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 I enjoy having weird conversations about weird things. And sometimes people enjoy them. Hmm. And then sometimes people are like, why would you ever? Like, I just recorded an episode with Father Bonaventure on Denis Villeneuve's films. Wow. Like, Arrival, Dune, Sicario, Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. He made a bunch of really cool movies. Wow. And I don't know if anyone's going to like that conversation, but I did. But isn't that the joy of it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so we haven't had a long-form chat on this channel until last night because I was gone for like 12 days. Okay. I was so happy to get back and do this. Like, I really like doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. But it is nice, too, that... Uh, it is nice when you can do something for the fun of it and not for the numbers or yeah, not yeah. for, yeah. Yeah, and I think that like, we talked about this before maybe, or I talked about somebody else, but all right, regardless, deliver the goods, Gregory. Um, <laughs> if you start thinking about the types of conversations that other people would like to hear, mm. then you end up being less interesting. Mm. Whereas when you talk about the things that you like, then I think they end up being interesting conversations. Now, mind you, you should be sensitive to your audience and you shouldn't be like, so this other obscure point about like mm. um, animal husbandry in the 17th century that really gets me going. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, that reminds me of something which I'm going to read to you, but keep talking. Yeah, so I don't think that you should just kind of give in to that tendency for the strange and obscure. But I think that, um, yeah, you got to stay in tune with the things that, that animate you. And then that ends it, yeah, that ends up being more engaging for the audience. Um, so that's what we try to do at God's Planning. And then the last one that I'm contributing to is a new one through Ascension called Catholic Classics. Oh my gosh. So another friar and I are reading like a, a classic work of spirituality. Yeah. And then just doing like, so it's like audiobook for the first half of each episode, just Whoa. reading it through. And then just like a little bit of commentary. That's so neat. Yeah. And then you just go bop, 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 X number of days in a row. And we'll have maybe two or three seasons a year where you just cruise through a book. I love that. Over the course of 30 or 40 episodes, just short ones, you yeah. know, 20 minute episodes. So here is a meme I'm going to share soon, and it's actually a tweet, and it is freaking hilarious. So I'd better laugh. No, you'll love it. <laughs> Ready? Every lifelong Catholic I've ever met is like, I think we're supposed to give this food to poor people. And every adult convert is like, the, ac <laughs> the archon of Constantinople's epistle on <laughs> Pentecostine's rights of the Eucharist clearly states women shouldn't have driver's licenses. <laughs> <laughs> that was to your point yeah. about the like super nuanced thing that no one cares about <laughs> yeah like, but it is true though like if you talk about what you're interested in that's going to generally be more interesting yeah anyway yeah especially in the current dispensation where like there are a lot of podcasts and you can kind of go where you find things to be interesting so yeah no sense like just trying to have the same conversations that everyone else is having yeah have your conversation <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.